We'd like to have you company next Tuesday night at 9.30. I'm sorry to the golf fanatics. <gasps> 22 minutes past 11, all the boys are on overtime. You get overtime, don't you? After 11. Yeah. What? <laughs> Who yelled out? Yeah. Was that you, Graham? You're fired again, Graham. <laughs> what's, it, what's it worth, Ian? Oh. Emma. 22 minutes. How much extra do you get? 11.30. Oh, get it. All right. Well, we've got another eight minutes. Here. What happens when you go past 11.30? Uh, overtime until 12 o'clock and it's double time. Oh, oh. Well, we'll go. Come and sit down here, Ian. I just want to bring Ian down. He's a great old man of mine. He's been with me for many years on Adelaide Television. No, it's all right. You come and sit here, Ian. Because Ian's a very... Very happy guy. Ian came to start at Channel 9 oh, years ago. What age were you when you started here? Uh, 16. And how old are you now? 25. He's 25, so that's nine years. Yep. So you worked with me, what, for about four years? Mm -hmm. You used to be frightened of me, didn't you? Yeah, I think everybody was. <laughs> why, why, why were all the crew always frightened of me? Oh, I think it's just because I was younger then. Yeah? Yeah. But you used to run over the well and get beer for me, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. You're very good. And the reason I've got Ian here tonight, he's been married, what, three years now? No, two and a half. Two and a half. And he's just got the wonderful news he's going to be a daddy. Oh. Isn't that good? Uh, now, that really does make me feel old, because you're the dead ringer of my youngest brother, Stan. Yeah. I've always said that, haven't I? Yeah. But you do, you look very... Except Stan, Stan's the same age as you. Mm. Except he's a lot greyer, you know. He's knocked around, I guess, a bit more than you have, you know. But, uh... Yeah, father like you. But? Yes, all right. <laughs> he's not my son, he's my brother. Oh, sorry. I haven't got a 25-year-old son. What do you think? But, <laughs> but Ian, you know, it, it is, I, really, I really feel like a paternal father now, knowing you're going to have a baby boy. Uh, mm. I said a boy. Yeah. That's funny. That's what it's going to be. If you're going to have a boy, when are you going to call it? Ernie? <laughs> Ernie Richardson. Ernest oh, William yeah. Richardson. That'll probably be its middle name, yeah. Ernie, will you do... If you call your kid... No one's ever called this... No one calls anyone Ernie anymore. If you call your son Ernie... Mm -hmm. I'll buy you the best present for your house you could ever think of. <laughs> what would you like for your house? He's going to say three rooms. <laughs> What, what, what would you always like? What haven't you got at your place? Well, we're doing very well for ourselves at the moment, so I'll have to think about that one. <laughs> we're doing very well for ourselves at the moment. It's all true. Right. I'm just getting put in two... I've, I've got two, two rooms just being put on my house, you know, because of all the kids. I can't even pay for it. Yeah. And you're going that well, eh? Oh, we'd, we've saved for it. We've it hard for it. Yeah, well, that's true. You are hard. And your wife works, doesn't she? Mm, yeah. What's she do? She works at the, the potato board, Kentown. Potato board? Yeah, he digs all the eyes out of the spuds. Where do you get that? No, she answers the switchboard and does all the talking. How does she answer the switchboard? You know, like uh, Spud City or what? what no, is... yeah. <laughs> South Australian potato board. South yeah. Australian yeah. potato board. Mm. True. She done your socks and all that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Does she watch the show? Uh, unfortunately, no, because she, uh, well, she's bowling uh, Wednesday, Tuesday nights. She bowls in the 10 pin bowling team. Oh, does she? Mm. Who's for? Uh, the All Stars. That's the name of the team. And when you, when you get home now, uh, will she be home when you get home? Mm, yes. <laughs> Does she have uh, supper waiting for you? No, no, that's a bit unfair because she's got to get up at half past six in the morning. What time do you get up? Me, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I've got to start at two o'clock. <laughs> so, do you get up and get her breakfast? Yeah, well, or she, does she leave you in bed? No, she leaves me in bed. Just gives you a kiss and says... Uh, no, it brings me back breakfast first and then goes to work. <laughs> you get breakfast in bed? Yeah. Fair dinkum? Yeah. What does she give you for breakfast? Uh, I'll just bowl of cereal and a piece of toast, a cup of tea. Truly? Mm. Who in the audience gets breakfast in bed? Me. Oh, the ladies put that. <laughs> well, my, 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 my dad still gives mum. She still... Uh, dad still gives mum it every morning. Uh, he gives it to her in bed. Gives mm. her breakfast. He gives her toast, a cup of tea. Mm. And she's in her 70s now. Well, I've told her it's got to change now because she's pregnant. She's got to have a cup of tea and a biscuit before she puts her feet on the ground or something. So you're going to give her yeah. breakfast in bed? Yeah. That's a good boy. You look after yeah. her. And good on you. And on behalf of the station, we wish you all the best. And when the baby's born, we definitely will send down half a dozen bottles of Coca-Cola. Good on you. Oh. Ian Richardson. That's all for tonight. Let's hope we can meet you next Tuesday night at 9.30. And may I say something which makes me very happy because you get very nervous when you come back 
after being so uh, so long away. Thanks for making us top rating, and I really do appreciate that very much. It gives me a tremendous show. We'll see you next Tuesday night, 9.30. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Harry. Good night. Bye. In the state guest today at the Rudian Lodge and you powered tire car. Furniture supplied by Mitre. Ernie is dressed by Ken Lambert, KL, Arndale Shopping Centre and the Mill. has been a Glen Sig live Australian television production through Channel 9 Adelaide.